<sighs> I'm back. Oh, wait. Let me wear my glasses. Oops, sorry, it's too loud. So, yes, I can now see properly. So, I'm back again. And I will be showing you some of my suits once again. And some of the other paraphernalia that I usually wear before I get into the suit. Um, apologies, at some point you might hear some noise at the back because currently, what time is it? Uh, uh, currently it's um, around 9 p.m. and still the, some people in my neighborhood are still awake and making some noise. And also, some of the paraphernalia that I have, um, some of them are currently in the laundry basket as, I'm, as much as I wanted to because I am quite busy for this week of preparing some of the stuff that I needed for my current work. Okay, let me... Let me prepare some because some of these I usually wear either when I'm cosplaying outside or inside. And I rarely cosplay so much these days, you know what I meant, because I'm quite busy with also my personal life and then while working and I don't have the time that I needed going to work. It happens a lot. Damn. Also, it's quite hot. And this is also the problem that I have recently. I just want to share. Um, I wanted to have or probably do a lot of cosplays and videos, but I'm everywhere where I go, there's always been populated with people. And as much as I wanted to, I don't want to create, or I don't want to create a crowd where I get distracted. Usually, I would do the video sometimes all by myself, and unfortunately, I'm surrounded again with noise. It's something that I, um, I am so frustrated to do so. But I, I was also asked to do like a video where we can show some of my suits here and here, and how do I wear them because they want to get some tips. I probably will, we can help each other out because I also need, um, I require help from other cosplayers too. I mean, I'm not the only cosplayer who can do this. I mean, I have seen so many. I am not saying that I'm the best, but I, I would say that somewhere out there, not just only in this kind of format of cosplaying, somebody can do way better than what, what I do in this event. Anyways. Usually before I get to do my cosplays, I usually wear a protective gear inside or underneath. Some of them, what we call the compression shorts. Or, but right now, I'm not wearing any compression shorts. Uh, it's because I'm wearing a compression knee pad on both. Knee pads! So uh, I will show it to you. I think I have not so sure if I have shown that the last time, but you can see that here. It's quite thick. I might try to show it later. How the knee pads look like, because I have to wear them and then wrap it um, around here. Because there are times that I would get um, a wobbly leg, like I was kind of shaky. But let me go back first and wear compression shorts. Compression shorts usually are what we call in other countries um, cycling shorts. It's quite weird. It doesn't look like cycling to me. But um, the compression shorts help us to build the um, right figure around the waist. It's kind of worn. You can see it looks like kind of worn so much. And I have been using this. I think I bought this one around back in 2022, two years ago. So I have worn this for quite some time and 
I usually wear this during whenever I do jogging or um, small routine exercises every Saturday morning or Sunday afternoons, but uh, it depends. But yeah, you can see it here. And it usually gives this kind of um, tight part around your waist. Yeah, I, I should have worn this one rather than the knee pad so that you can see at least what's going to happen with how it will build the figure around this part. But before wearing this, usually I, I wear protective gear or protective underwear. It's either, usually how comfortable you are, it depends what kind of underwear you'll be wearing. But usually this is the ones I've been wearing. Number one, um, kind of light gear underwear. This kind of underwear also helps me to move uh, around here in my crotch and of course for protection for comfort as well uh, it depends it doesn't matter about what kind of brand what kind of color you're using I just prefer white uh, I think I have a fascination about it but um, the the style it's up to you as well but usually the kind of fabric the reason why I, I, I like this one is because of the fabric and it helps me especially to move or uh, especially to um, have this kind of waist and to build it around this kind of waist as well to build the kind of figure and the kind, this kind of fabric allows your skin your skin to breathe because there are times that you will pers they perspire a lot there will be sometimes sweaty and wearing to, um, the suit for a quite for quite a long time could um, have this uneasy feeling that inside is also sweaty and um, it needs your skin to breathe. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, especially if you are um, not into cosplay, such as what we do whenever wearing this kind of suit. Because some, they can wear whatever they want, it's okay. Uh, it's, there's no 101 here that requires you what to wear or the mandatory things that you need to wear. And just, sharing you guys what I do that really helps me com and makes me feel comfortable. So it's up to you. Another kind of underwear that usually you know, it's really tight. I prefer this kind of brand too. It's quite comfortable to wear as well and gives you um, well, a sexy feeling. <laughs> uh, it's really uh, uh, it's really What's the best term that I would say? It fits you or just genuinely fit around this area before wearing the... Um, unless you'll go commando, if you know what I mean. And before you wear the compression shorts. So this kind of underwear also is quite good because I love the fabric. I, I appreciate also the design. Or if I prefer to go more likely in the sports category or sports thing. This is also something that I usually wear. It helps me to move freely and um, whenever, special, uh, whenever I have to go outside or probably let's say I'm cosplaying outside and requires you to move and have this kind of posing and sometimes um, the comfort around you, this area or in this area in your pelvis you have to spread your legs and do so many posings, you know what I mean, to what we cosplay. So sometimes that kind of underwear really helps you a lot. Moving. Socks. I usually wear socks. Uh, this kind of sports gear or sportswear kind of socks. Usually I have this kind of socks whenever I usually cosplay outside. And unfortunately, I don't have any soles. <laughs> and as much as I wanted to, whenever I wanted to have this design properly with soles, it's quite okay. But um, wearing socks can also help um, whenever I, let's say, I'm going to a certain place, I'm not yet wearing my costume. I usually wear with socks and probably with shoes. This would also be, this would also be great. But... Um, I suggest 
if you have those kind of socks that helps you regulate your skin, allows your skin to breathe, and probably to promote or to reduce odor. You know that sometimes uh, it gets smelly here in this part, and I'm glad that I don't have a smelly feet. I'm glad, thank you, thank you, I don't have a smelly feet. But, for those who are quite scared, especially if they usually wear socks, this is quite weird though, 24 seven, I remember hearing someone, I wear socks 24 seven, like really? 24 seven, anyways. I think you need to put um, any form of anti-odor, either powder or spray, before wearing those socks and then wearing them because it's quite scary. Moving, I, I got, I, I got scared. I thought it's a t-shirt. By the way, this is decompression uh, t-shirt. I thought this is just a typical t-shirt that I just uh, pulled up, pulled out in my <laughs> um, drawer. Why pulled up? Because it's already on top of my other clothes that just recently washed and folded. So I just pulled up everything and then I saw other clothes <laughs> anyways I'm quite messy when it comes to my clothes when it comes to uh, doing laundry and then after the laundry anyways so it depends on the style that you have you can also use like I, I, under armor I forgot the brand I'm so sorry I'm, it's not supported also and I'm not sponsored anyways and it's quite expensive but compression t-shirts or shirt could also help help you to build the, this kind of um, figure here, especially in your chest, to make it appear to be compressed and make your stomach flat. But I'm not saying that it's so flat; it just look like flabby. Or um, I'm just I'm just a human. I can gain weight and I can lose weight as well. But what I'm just saying is to capture the figure, especially in your chest or bust area, what they call it, especially here in the shoulders until here at the back well unless you're wearing that looks like a 1c kind of i remember seeing one it looks like a 1c kind of compression 1c that uh up until your arms it will cover up to your arms until up, up until here in this crotch area until here as well but i uh, it's up to you as long as you're comfortable with um, those compression so for me those are just like what I've said here, the compression shirt. Also, um, the benefit for wearing compression sh uh, shirt and shorts, it helps you to absorb sweat while you're wearing the costume for, for quite a long time. And so the sweat will not stick directly on your skin to the suit. Because we will never know. We don't want to, to um, have that kind of avoidance of others because of that smell I remember a particular friend of mine <laughs> who also cosplays with with spider-man and at some point I have to inform him or directly inform him dude do you wash your your suits I mean I'm not gonna question you if you take a bath before I mean before gearing up because I'm smelling something that coming from you and frankly I had to tell it before anyone anybody else would say something bad about it because the smell is not good and um, my friend of mine said oh because I'm actually quite na naked dude I think you need to wear something like underneath like uh, compression shirt and shorts or underwear or whatsoever um, protective gear compression paraphernalia because the sweat is not good the smell is not good anyways that was a long time ago and we learned a lot from it because um, 
that friend of mine also um, have great physique and um, great suits as well. It's just probably he stopped for a while because of his studies. Well, um, good luck for him. I hope he graduated. Anyways, so going to after sharing you some of my paraphernalia, now I'm gonna share you some of my suits. By the way, this is the um, Todd McFarlane and Mark Bugley suit that I think I have shared before. My eyes are. Oh my god. I have to pause for a moment. I think something caught in my eye. Anyways. Okay, I'm good. So, here are some of my suits that I have shown to you in some of my previous videos. And um, for a friend of mine as well that I just recently, suge that recently suggested to me, why uh, don't you show some of your um, suits, uh, especially for me to learn more about cosplaying? especially for the Spider-Man cosplay, I said, oh, sure, maybe I will do that someday. But as soon as I have the right amount of time, which is right now. So, by the way, one of my uh, infamous suit that I have worn before is the Mark IV suit. Where is the... Here we go. This is the... Um, face the uh, head mask. So I, I I have bought this twenty twenty one. No, yeah, twenty twenty one. I think that was around November December before the end of twenty twenty one. Yeah, so it was very special to me why uh, some of my followers on Facebook and also in, in some of other social media platforms, of course YouTube, have said that this is one of the best suits that I have shown so far. And I remember um, that I brought this one to a, to a workplace before New Year's Eve and uh, I think I was in a particular place before they celebrate New Year, and a lot of people were looking at me like, "There's Spider Man." I was like, "Yeah," and it was a flattering moment because I think one of my managers at that time in that workplace um, took a photo of me while inside the elevator. It was uh, I, I miss that moment, but um, um, I'm no longer employed in that company. So that was back in 2021, and then early 2022. So. I'm going to place it here. So, just So the next suit is the Homecoming. Uh, no, not Homecoming. This is from the Spider-Man uh, No Way Home Black and gold suit that he wore. By the way, it might look confusing, especially that it looks so wide, but it's actually fit my size. It just looked like this. I think I have shown you guys about this, um, caught this suit. And I have bought this one back last year. Uh, April 2023? forgot probably yeah April 2023 so oh my god oh I... the only part that is quite different from this suit especially the head mask doesn't have any zipper so I'm just gonna wear it like so easily though I have a problem with the from the arms I, I think I need to sew <laughs> um, it already have holes in it it's quite sad. It's quite sad, though. By the way, the suits that I'm showing, they're not in particular order. Next, Miles Morales classic suit. I have bought this one back 
Oh yeah, last just yeah, last year before my birthday. Uh, I think the last week of June, I already have this one. So it's a classic My Miles Morales suit, and I think I, I think you have seen several times for for this suit in my videos. Next is the Advanced Suit 2.0. I uh, this is shown. Oh my God, where is the? Oh, here it is. This was shown in the video game, and actually, I just have bought this one just last year before Christmas. I think the second week of December, I already have this one, and I'm loving it. <laughs> It's one of the suits as well that a lot of people um, have seen on my TikTok and they love it. Not really that they love it so much. Probably they have seen it and then they appreciate it. And it's really good, to be honest. Oh. So, um, what I also love about this suit is that it's quite confusing at first, especially it looks so wide, but actually it really hugs my body even though I'm not wearing any compression shirt or shorts but I'm just being careful I don't want to smell so um, this really complements my body so much and I really 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 appreciate um, my designer really fixing this one together with the garment especially the kind of fabric that was used so also it was so detailed it looks metallic I think I have mentioned this one before close up close up not sure if you can see it properly but the kind of fabric was so detailed that it looks like it's quite realistic anyways oh So next, these are some of the improvements that I have. This was the Far From Home two, 2022 upgrade. I usually have the first one that I have, but I was chubby way back then. And I got my first Far From Home suit. It was back in September. September 2019, I guess. Yeah. And I appreciate how I made a great decision of remaking or upgrading the kind of suit and this was the product of it i think the second one that i did an upgrade was the homecoming yeah i'll i will show you why where is the here you go the head mask so i might uh last year halloween i participated i am so so mad that i did not take any videos that i participated in a local Halloween party or Halloween um, scare fest, I forgot how we call it, in here in our, in our place here in the Philippines. I was invited to to be part of it and um, one of the person, uh, one of the person who asked me to be part of it said that can you wear your Spider-Man costume and then have some um, probably blood or fake blood, edible fake blood whatsoever on your face so you can participate and scare some kids while giving them candies. Okay, sure. So I think um, I have worn this suit. I even remember one time there was this kid who just approached me and said, who um, punch you? I will punch them for you. And the kid was so cute. And um, the kid said, I will punch Green Gobble for you. And I said, Oh, I think it's Green Goblin. I said, no, it's Green Goblin. My my dad said that. I was like, oh, okay, fine. So, <laughs> I don't know how you say it's Green Goblin when it comes to Goblin. But anyway, this, those are kids. You can't blame them. So, by the, by the way, back in 2022, when I did a, an upgrade together here with the, the uh, Homecoming and then Far From Home upgrades, I lost um, so many. I lost probably. I lost 
20 pounds of my weight and it was the best decision for me to have um, loosen up my weight and then have them upgraded so that it will really complement my body. Next is yes, the homecoming upgraded suit. I also love this one. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, I love how they they are also detailed when it comes to um, the fabric. See, uh, I have my very first homecoming suit back in 2020. That was the pandemic, and I was quite chubby because we, I'm working at home, and we can't even go outside. Sadly, and by the way, during 2020 or probably late 2020 during the pandemic, I was starting up with my. <laughs> cosplays quite a bit but I'm having fun I'm having fun especially with the upgrade of this suit last but not the least one of the suits that I have adorned so much and one of my teammates from my previous work have worn this I, I, I am so I, I really love this one so much I this is the Iron Spider Black Bar Black variant. I have bought this one. Oh, I got distracted. Sorry. I have bought this one back in 2021, and unfortunately, my the head mask was lost here in our house, and I can't even freaking find it. I am so dumb. I don't know where. But this is one of my favorite suits as well. It really complements my body. And some of my followers on Facebook or probably in here on social media, YouTube, have mentioned how um, I look fit wearing this. And one of my t co-workers back in, in a certain company, the company is toxic anyways and it's crap. But, but, but um, my friend, also my friend and my co-worker who have worn this said that it really complements his body and even though he's quite taller than me Nate, his name is Nathan uh, he's quite taller than me the suit really complements his body yeah so I I remember I am so proud and I'm so amazed how it really fits his body I, I mean sometimes I even imagine if he will be cosplaying this kind of costumes as well he it will definitely fit him so those are my suits, aside from here that I have as of the moment. So I am really planning to have a different suit, but I, probably I go on a different path. As Halloween is coming, I wanted to show something different. Like I, I wanted to lean towards anime for quite a bit, probably classic or probably new. It's up to me. I am. Really want, I really wanted to have a different path recently, but I am trying my best to be financially ready, <laughs> especially that I have plans as well for my non-cosplay and divorce, but of course, I have to think about the bills that I have to pay first and the kind of life that I am facing right now, especially that I am having different kind of work, different kind of environment, I also have to think about my personal life aside from cosplays because I'm the kind of person that is usually get um, sometimes affected to the people that I am working with and the environment, the work, and sometimes cosplay is my escape. But there are times that I'm also losing my focus and I don't want to lose that momentum because you know from the past, even from last, oh my God, I didn't get distracted. From even from last year, you know how the gap of how many months that I am inactive versus that I am currently active. And I'm taking the moment that I am active as of the moment for cosplay because I, uh, I don't want to lose um, the thing that really makes me happy. And yeah, a part of me that also escapes me temporarily from annoyance from my environment anyways so 
I'm gonna show you now. Oh uh, no, rather not. I might get banned here because I'm not wearing any uh, compression here on this part, so I don't want to get be be banned or reported for nudity. Anyways, I might be showing you a different cosplay. Not really that different though. Probably a different side of me cosplaying. Probably by the end of October this year and probably some up life updates for the end of this year because I'm also focusing on work as of the moment and I'm also doing non cosplay stuff and making sure that I'm also get updated to some of my social media because there are times that I'm also having fun doing non cosplay related things such as playing games going outside having a social life without involving cosplay so I know it's really quite sad for me but that's how it goes so but I'm telling you I'm breaking the gap that I have previously so I'll probably I will update or probably drop a video once a month so that you'll get to know more about me especially that I have seen a small increase with my subscribers and I'm, I'm grateful I am not asking for a big number it will be a great responsibility for me if I will get that I know it might happen but I am not looking or I'm not assuming that it will happen for probably for a fast period fast period of time that it will just suddenly increase and I don't know what to do what will what would be the kind of content that I would be posting. Anyways, bye.